In the world of anime, there's a little something for almost anyone. Slice of life, isekais, shonen, ecchi. Which is diet, very inappropriate anime. Yeah, let's just, let's go with that. With all these different genres, you find it pretty hard not finding at least one thing interesting. There's a particular type of anime that I seem to enjoy very much. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. So, I'm gonna simply call them situationships. Urban Dictionary. Urban Dictionary describes situationship as, let's just chill, have some coitus, and be confused on the fact that we're not together, but we do have official emotions for each other, so why not? Situationship. A relationship that has no label on it, like a friendship, but more than a friendship, but not quite a relationship. Yo, what? So basically two confused people who's wasting each other's time, to be honest. <laughs> Essentially. So, I thought it was an anime video. What they gotta do with this? Allow me. Girlfriend, girlfriend. An anime about a guy that already has a girlfriend, but another girl confesses to him. He can't turn the new girl down, so he dates them both. Why don't I date both of you? It's the only solution I can think of. <laughs> Wait a second, I have a question. Do these two girls know that they're with this one guy? Yeah, they go along with it. And a third girl also wants to join. Just imagine, if we were dating, you could poke and squeeze me anytime you wanted to. That's very generous of you, but I still decline. <laughs> Just look at these things. You should at least try them out, you jerk. I don't care about your G-cups. I'd rather squeeze the boobs of a girl I like. Rid a girlfriend, dude with zero social skills, loses a girlfriend, and decides to rent one. Jay, you can't just say that and then just keep on going. You say he rented somebody? Who gonna tell him what that actually is? It's, it's, it's escort. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, know. Anyway, let's go. Homeboy falls in love with an escort. She doesn't like him, but at the same time she does, but she only do when other girls start liking him. Look guys, post edit ratchet here. I really do not like this anime. While I was recording the stuff that I need to record, I was ranting to Levi about this. Let me give you a taste of how I felt about this anime. Bro, I skipped the episode and each frame I keep coming across is the nigga got, his, got money in his hand, handing it to her. Oh, holy man. shit! That, that's like the third episode in the fucking row. Every time I come back to this, I just get angry again. And what pisses me off is the n confessed to her finally after beating around the bush for a whole ass season to the after credit scene just to come around. And this said, I'm JK. What is this show? Now I understand that the definition of situationship may not define exactly what's going on in these animes, but what I'm trying to get at is that animes like these present issues that wouldn't work normally under their circumstances. Do you actually see these relationships working in the long run? Absolutely not. There's a reason why these animes ends as soon as the two characters actually get together because they don't want you to see the train wreck that happens right after. <laughs> you know what I mean? In a nutshell, they're bonded purely and only because of the situations that they're currently in, which is why I say that they're not relationships their situationships, like the literal definition of situation. Those examples aside, today I'd like to talk about one of the latest ones. One with a similar premise. My stepsister is my ex-girlfriend. Excuse me? Before we start, Levi, I got a question. Let's say you're dating a girl. Okay. And you went through all the bases together and y'all been together for, let's say about three years. You really love this girl, and you can see a bright future with her. All right. But. Oh, uh, here we go. It turns out she's your cousin through marriage. What you doing? You staying with her or what? No. Why not? Anything that has some type of family label attached, it is an automatic no for me, dog. I don't care if I was married. As soon as it can even be said that we're cousins in any type of way, it's cut off. I'm sorry. I know technically... Where it's not by blood, but I just can't have that mental image in my head. So I got to cut it off right then and there. This is a very, what are you doing step bro anime. This one has two main pro tags that we follow behind. I'm about to butcher the hell out of these names. Mizuto, 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 Mizuti, Mitsubishi, Irido. Homeboy is your run of a mill teenage boy. Too cool for anything other than reading. Yet women are magnetizing him. Why does he have to know how to read? Uh, he just, that's just his thing, man. Like, I, he just likes looking at books and girls thinks it's hot. What? Yeah. Bro, nobody is going to a library and chicks just throwing themselves at them. Imagine just in a library reading, you know, a book, right? And then, like, five girls come in and just fall on top of you. You're like, oh. 
Oh, just face on you. That's never happened. Hey, Levi, speak for yourself. I remember when we used to go to those little book fair things at school, the little scholastic stuff. You was not getting no cheeks at the bro, book fair. Bro, I used to run in there and buy hella erasers and pistol sharpeners and stuff, bro. Mad girls is on me. Our second pro tag, Yume Ayay, I think. Former introvert girl going through an entire rebrand. In middle school, she had troubles coming out of her shell. But now, in high school, she's the center of attention with her good grades and modest appeal. So these two used to date in middle school for a solid year before they decided to break up. They haven't seen each other since their breakup, only to find themselves meeting once again at a family dinner where both of their parents revealed that they're now married, making them both step-siblings. Man, what's wrong with this dude, man? He like anime Kevin Gates or something? Nigga be talking about, yeah, y'all look like brother and sister. Shit, no. I'm fucking the shit out of her. Come to find out she my cousin, you heard me? But I ain't about to stop fucking with her. Shit, the pussy good and we click. Shit, I ain't grow up with you knowing you're my people. I don't get tired. John, where are you finding this stuff at? Where do people even find these animes? Like, do people just type in Google, weirdest anime for me to watch and just hit answer <laughs> this story begins here we follow these two as they pretend that they no longer have feelings for each other but in actuality they do they battle not only with the social stigma around dating your sibling but also their hormones you mean a social stigma that's just not the right thing to do <laughs> like there's no stick okay they just like saying hey ja you shouldn't go shoot that innocent person because it's a bad stigma. How about, you know, <laughs> oh, maybe just don't shoot the person because that's, you could go to jail and it's a bad thing to do? Oh, 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 oh. Bruh, ain't no way you got bricked up. Bro, you ain't no way you got bricked up, bro. Come on now. Leave this is like some anime energy. Yes. Say, oh, like yes, this. even though they don't post it work like that. <laughs> Every single time I heard only chat use is always uses some type of sexual nature. I ask you boys and girls in the chat why is that the case? We got a lot of conversations that we need to have with Japan. Cause <laughs> like, why is that the case? Yeah, why y'all look G Look man, we don't got let's not let's just let's continue, man. There's a there's a brother sister complex thing that goes down in Japan. Yeah, yeah, you can't say it can't on. Here's a bit that I I'm curious to how you would feel like about this and do you find this cute or not? Based on what I've been seeing this whole time, I doubt I find it very cute. But let's continue. As we're aware, they used to have a previous relationship. Well, she used to keep all the things that he's ever given her in a tiny little box. Oh, yeah. Those empty wrappers in that box. It looks like an empty can, some empty huh. wrappers, erasers, some coins, and a mechanical pencil. How do you feel oh, about that? Uh, I think it's a tad bit odd, but I don't know if I would call it crazy. It you is know? odd as heck, though. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like, I find it kind of strange. What if you just go to your own girl's house, right, and you just see like one of your left socks that went missing a while ago? <laughs> you don't ever remember wearing that sock around her? I don't even remember her knowing that that sock exists. But for some reason, she just got that one missing sock that you just couldn't find. Wouldn't you find that a tad bit odd? You don't find stuff like this, like, endearing? I, I think I mean, cute. stuff like wearing my hoodie and stuff like or my jacket, cool, but keeping an empty can of soda I drunk? I don't I'm, know about that one, Jai. Go hold you. But I'm saying, and you making it seem like she got a whole ass shrine or something and like got pieces of your Might hair well. follicles. Nah, that's kind of teeting the line. You're not quite there yet, but that's like a gateway, as they say. Okay, they I, you know, I, I get what you, you mean. You're trying to collect my <laughs> fingernails. I, I, I kept his toothbrush and oh. sometimes like, I brush my teeth with it. <laughs> Bro, is that, is that man's shorts? Ain't that your brother now? That's not very sister-like if I do say so myself. Alright, so. What? How, how would you feel if you No! Killed, oh, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Alright. How would you feel if, let's just say, your step-sibling when you had the hots for you walk into her room bro and homegirl got your underwear up to her her nostrils and she doing a big ass like double barrel shotgun whiff of your boxers bro and I she had to pass you ain't into it no man so you never you never 
just took a pair. Of right, right, okay, okay. You ask these questions. I feel like you got something you want to say. What What do you think? Would you be weirded out? Yes. Why would I not be bothered by that? Do I got a problem? Kind of. In all fairness, the only reason why you're not supposed to do things with your siblings. Yeah, make your kids kind of, ah, if you know what I mean. I can't say that. Oh, okay. But look, these two, they're not blood related. So technically speaking. It's still enough for me, dog. What if? Yes, yeah, right. right. I see them in public. I'm side eyeing them, and you are here too. Don't even sit here, here and try to play right, devil's right, advocate. Wait, 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 wait. All right. So, me and you chilling for some reason. Janae Iko married into our family now. Oh, bro. And she your stepsister. But why she, are you going to the most extremist example? You can't do that. No, no, no. No, this is going. That's not fair, Jeff. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Janae Iko marries into our family, bro. And now she our stepsister, and she kind of like you. You ain't gonna see about it. Tell a lie, I swear. Tell a lie. Go ahead and tell a lie right now. I got a question. It. What? I'm gonna answer this question after you answer my question. Right, okay, what does this girl in this anime look like? <laughs> does she look like, like Janae Aiko? I mean, in Does she look like Janae Aiko? No, no, she doesn't. So. All right, then. So why are you comparing two sides of the spectrum like that? Today, I call probably the only girl I ever in my life ever. Like I could, I could die and reincarnate a thousand times, still feel the same way. Except <laughs> she would be the only girl in a thousand years I ever consider suck her toes. Okay. And John knows this. Okay. So now he's just trying to use this as a trump card and be like, ha ha, I got you. <laughs> like, no, that's not how this gonna work, Jack. Cut it out. <laughs> I win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut the whole conversation down.